welcome to another session of the TIA portal. In this session, we will see how we can use the programming blocks. First, we will create the new project in the TIA portal and we will switch to the portal view. Here we will add a new PLC by clicking add new device button. Now we will go to the programming and delete the existing block. By default the organization block OB1 is already provided. It represents the interface of the CPU operating system and it is called automatically and processed cyclically. If we double click on the add new block, we can see different blocks in that can be used in programming. This include organization block, function block, function and data blocks. You have various type of options for using organization block in your in your program. We have startup OB, cycle OB, timing error OB and diagnostic OB. You can simply insert and program these organization blocks in your project. You don't have to assign parameters to them, nor you have to call them. Another type is process alarm OB and the time interrupt OB. These organization blocks have to be parameterized after you inserted them in your program. In addition, process alarm OBs can be assigned to an event time delay interrupt OB. The time delay interrupt OB can be inserted in your project and programmed. In addition, you have to call it in the other user program now we will add a function block function blocks contain sub programs that are always executed when a function block is called by another code block function blocks are the code blocks that store their values in the instance data blocks so that these values are available also after the block is processed Store your input and outputs in out parameters permanently in the instance data blocks. They still be available after the block is processed. For that reason, they are also called the blocks with memory. A function block can also be called multiple times at different locations within a program. This facilitates programming and complicated functions. Now we will add the function block by clicking OK button. We just drag down a little bit. Here we can create input and output variables for the function block. Remember th one thing that static tags are only available in the function these are function blocks these are not available in functions we can select data types for these variables
Now make a simple ladder logic and end operation in the network one of the function block. Now we will add our organization block OB1 which is cyclic block. Drag and drop function block FB1 in the OB1. As you can see a single instance block is generated automatically to store the values of the FB1. Now what is the instance of the function blocks? The call of a function is called an instance. To each instance of a function block, a memory area is assigned that contains the data function block. To each instance of the function block, a memory area is assigned that contains the data If I double click on the inserted block FB1, it will take back to its ladder logic. As static tags are only works inside the function block, so I have to turn on the static bit by adding a new ladder logic. If I goes back to the OB1, now you can see it changes color to the red. Don't worry, we just have to update that block. And that's it. As FB1 has a data block, associated with it and its all IO initial values is set to the false so that we can compile the program without any error. But remember in function we must have to configure all IOs otherwise it will not compile and will show you later. Anyways for now I will add text for the IO of the FB1. Let's try the program by loading into the simulator. I have made an an operation so we have to turn high input and input one to make the output one high
you can also see the updated values of the tags by monitoring the data block one for fb1 Let's add a function in our program blocks. Functions are the codes blocks without dedicated memory. The FC doesn't have any assigned memory area. The local data for a function is lost after the function is processed. Additional FB and FCs can be called in a function in turn. Let's get back to the letter logic. We will insert a math function here. Here you can see there is no option for the static tags as the static tags are only available in the function blocks. Other difference is that we don't have a dedicated memory for our tags in the function. So as you can see, there is no initial value option here. Here, for example, we can create two input words and add them and store the result in the output word. Now we have to configure the tag for these input and output words. We can also add a normally open bit in the ladder logic. For this we have to create a boolean tag in the function. That's all. Just drag and drop FC1 in the OB1 network too. Here we can add two integers and store the result in the memory word 3. go online if we make the memory tag m2.4 high 
add math function will be executed and result will be stored in the memory word 3. Now we will try the data blocks or DB. What are DBs? DBs are used to provide memory for data variables. There are two types of the data blocks, which are global DBs, where all OBs, func FBs and FCs can read the stored their data. Instance DBs are assigned to certain FB function blocks. Now we will try the data blocks. Here we will make a total tag and store the memory word 3 used in FC1 in it. We can make a simple move instruction in the OB1. Just copy memory word 3 tag and paste in the move function. For the output, just go to the output data block 1 and select total tag. Now we will load in the simulator and see the results. Just go online and monitor the ladder logic. Make the tag M2.4 high to execute the add and move instruction. Hey, you can see data has moved from memory word 3 and stored in the total tag of the global DB1. Now this total tag can be read from other functions or function blocks. We can call function inside a function block and call the function block inside a function. So that's it for the today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for your time.